This is video 2. In this video we'll show you some of the basics, such as how to customize some of the panels and how to change the styles in Omnimo. The first thing you need to do is launch Omnimo. We assume that you have it installed. If you don't, please check our first video. You can launch Omnimo by tapping it into your start menu. There we go. The first thing I want to show you is how to toggle between Omnimo and the desktop icons. It's pretty easy to do. You can use your shortcut key on your keyboard, which is F8, to toggle from your desktop to Omnimo seamlessly. In addition to that, you can also use the icon which sits here in the tray. You can click on it, and it does the same thing. Another way of toggling between Omnimo and the desktop is clicking this blue triangle and clicking Toggle. Pretty simple. Let's see how we can change the settings in some of the panels, shall we? Let's start with the Gmail panel. You can type in your Gmail username and then your password to see how many unread emails you have on your panel, which I seem to have quite a lot. You can also change other settings such as the frequency of how often you want to check for new emails and the mail icon. I have five icons here, let's pick this one. You can also select other panel types by clicking this arrow key, which is present on pretty much all of the panels, as is the settings key. You can do the achieve the same result by right-clicking it and selecting variants. Or you can just keep clicking this arrow to toggle for them. Right. You can also change the colors of the panels from the settings. You can do this by clicking the panel and clicking on the color. From here you can select any kind of color that you want and uh, or select it from some of our predefined colors. You can even use our eyedropper tool to select a color from anywhere in your desktop. Let's make it green. If you don't like the color you can click the settings again and click reset. It's that simple. Another cool thing that the panels do is that they allow you to change their sizes. For instance, you can click on this one and make it smaller or bigger. Possibly that's too big. The default size is 150 for all panels. Now I'll show you how to close the panels. You can obviously drag the panels around in, and position them in any way you like. But if you don't like some of the panels, you can simply close them by clicking the X button and arrange them the way you like. They usually snap to position, but sometimes it might be a little bit tricky to get them in the exact position where you want them to be. You can also close the panels by middle clicking them, like this. This is pretty easy to do. Now, from here you can select the panels, which is our panels gallery. This is the main gallery which contains all the panels installed in Omnimo. There are actually several pages, so you can check this out too. This one is empty because we don't have any panels installed. You can download more panels from our website if you want. We'll do that later. Now, I probably want to add some of the new panels, so we'll close some of the boring ones and add something new. Control panel. Yes. RAM usage. Well, that's enough to show an example. You can also change these things right here. The search bar has its own settings, as does the text item here. The text feeder also has its uh, settings. So I'll show you how to change the settings of the text items in our next video. You can toggle through the items on the bottom. And don't forget, you can close any item by middle-clicking it. So if you don't want these things to be here, you can middle-click it to close them. We're not going to close this. We'll keep water. So now we're going to rearrange it to look a bit nicer. It's a bit tricky sometimes. Probably 
probably want to add something new. We have two galleries, one is for the panels and one is for the extras. Now I'll show you how to change the styles in the panels. To do this, click the triangle, select styles. From the styles you can change many things, such as the colors, the effects and uh, textures and many other things. You can also select skins, which are right here on the right. Just click apply, and as you can see it changed. We can try all of these, but my favorite one is this one, which makes the panels transparent. So we can use them to make a really interesting minimal desktop. But let's keep the one which you were using right now. And possibly change the color. Don't forget that you can change the colors of the panels from the settings. Such as this one. We want to make it blue. There are more advanced uh, theming opportunities in this gallery. Such as this one. And also the individual panel color, which lets you colorize the panels in very interesting ways. We'll explore these settings in our next videos. One of the new features in this release is that we have a, a tool to customize the background. You can hover the top left corner on your screen and click on the settings icon. Here you can change the colors, the width, the height, and many other aspects of the background. You can even use an image for your background, such as this one. Now Omnimo has its own image, so when you toggle to your desktop you have something different. But let's not use the image. You can use the color. You can change the color and its opacity to anything you want. For instance, 200. You can also enable and disable the glass effect to make the, the thing blurry and nice. I guess we'll keep it that way. How to change the general settings in Omnimo? For instance, we have weather set to Celsius, and as an example we can open another panel, such as uh, time. And as you can see, that uh, the time is also metric. To change that, you can click on this thing here and click settings. You can also access the settings by right-clicking the tray icon and going into settings. From here, you can change the time and weather format. You can also change the language, uh, the tray icon, the toggle key, your weather location, and you can also select if you want Omnimo to start with Windows, which we already have. If you need to use the rain meter menu, which is hidden by default, you can right click the Omnimo icon and click on rain meter. You can also exit Omnimo, which automatically closes rain meter too, by right clicking this icon and selecting exit. You can launch it again from your start menu. This concludes our video demonstration. We hope you found the video informative. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.